You could be taking every testosterone boosting supplement under the sun, but recent studies suggest that they may not be working at all unless you have this other hormone in check. At the University of Harvard, researchers evaluated the hormone levels of male volunteers enrolled in an executive education program. What they found was that managers in the program who exhibited the greatest leadership skills had the higher levels of testosterone. And while that may seem obvious, they also found that these dominant managers also had low levels of cortisol. Another study at the University of Texas at Austin, researchers measured hormone levels of subjects who participated in a one-on-one -on -one competition. When they were given the chance for a rematch after either winning or losing, 100% of those who lost but had high levels of testosterone coupled with low cortisol levels wanted a rematch. The guys with high cortisol, on the other hand, didn't. What's interesting is that it didn't matter if they had high or low testosterone levels at all. If cortisol was high, it was game over. So even if you have high levels of testosterone circulating in your blood and there's also too much cortisol, your testosterone is not doing its job. There are several reasons why cortisol levels today are so high, especially in men. We have stress at work, with family, with finances, and a lot of us are eating poorly. Processed foods, refined sugars, seed oils, lignans, and phytoestrogens are both increasing estrogen levels and causing inflammation, activating your immune response and triggering the release of cortisol. Once you reduce your cortisol levels, you will see and feel a massive difference in your testosterone and your testosterone boosting supplements, like this one, linked in my bio. 